गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव कंप्लीटेड चैप्टर सेकंड थियोटिकल पार्ट एंड नाउ वी स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ एन सी आर टी सेकेंड और फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट इज मीन बाई अ सबस्टेंस हेयर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट प्योर सबस्टांसिस सबस्टांस इज अ प्योर सिंगल फॉर्म ऑफ मैटर मीन अ प्योर सबस्टांस इज मेड अप ऑफ सेम टाइप ऑफ पार्टिकल्स मीन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सॉल्ट सॉल्ट इज प्योर इफ इट इज हैविंग ओनली सॉल्ट पार्टिकल्स लाइक शुगर शुगर इज प्योर if it is having only sugar particles like water if it is having only water particles or water molecules then it will be pure but if water having dust grease oil then it is not pure it will be impure means a substance is a pure single form of matter it consists of a single type of particles all the constituent particles in the substance are identical right it means salt having salt particles and they are they all are identical in shape uh, size may be vary in their chemical nature it cannot be separated into other kinds of matter by any physical process by using uh, physical method like uh, filtration सीविंग थ्रेसिंग और एनी एक्सेट्रा फिजिकल मैथड हैंड पिकिंग वी कैन नॉट ओके द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज लिस्ट द पॉइंट ऑफ डिफ्रेंसिस बिटवीन होमोजीनियस एंड हाइड्रोजीनियस मिक्सचर होमोजीनियस मिक्सचर मीन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर टेकिंग वॉटर and then add salt in water okay like this you are taking water and add salt in water then you will see that salt is mixed uniformly in the water mean each part having the same property and it mix uniformly throughout the solution means they have uniform composition but heterogeneous mixers they have non uniform composition the component of the components of homogeneous mixers are not physically distinct you cannot separate uh, the components uh, with by physical method we cannot separate uh, uh, the salt or you can say that the component of homogeneous mixers are not physically distinct means no there is no separate boundary but uh, uh, In, in, uh, but in case of uh, homogeneous mix, uh, heterogeneous mixers, they are they are having distinct part means like uh, uh, water and their oil means they are two separate parts. But in case of homogeneous mixer, they have no visible boundary or no physical. physically distinct part but they have physical distinct part and have visible boundaries like oil and water you can easily uh, see or one more example i am giving here for heterogeneous mixers like if you take uh, mix iron and uh, sulfur then also you see the separate boundaries okay Now, question number third: Differences between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixers with examples. The same questions. Uh, the substances are completely mixed together in these mixers. In homogeneous mixers, mean uniformly mixed, and uh, in this mixer, they are non-uniformly mixed. We remain separate in the, these mixers. Uniform composition, non-uniform composition. no visible boundaries and they have visible boundaries of separation between the constituents second question and third question the both questions 
having the same answers. You can write the same answer for this. And they are the example. Uh, for homogeneous mixers, like salt in water, sugar in water, completely mixed. But uh, when you mix sodium chloride and iron fillings, then they have separate boundaries. They are not completely mixed. And we are getting heterogeneous mixers, like oil and water. How solution, sol, solution and suspension different from each other? This is true solution, okay, and this is colloidal solution, and this is suspension. True solution, a solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. Why it is homogeneous? Because the particles of a solution, of true solution, are smaller than one nanometer, means the particles are very, very small. The particles are very small, that's why they can mix in the given solvent. That's why we are getting homogeneous mixes. But colloidal solution, as the particles are slightly bigger than true solution, means the size of the particles between 1 nanometer to 100 nanometer and suspension particle size more than 100 nanometer means the size is very large so uh, they cannot mix in the given solvent and the uh, mixer is heterogeneous but this is also heterogeneous colloidal solution look like homogeneous but it is heterogeneous for example milk milk is looking like homogeneous mixer but it is not a homogeneous mixer it is heterogeneous mixers because milk having uh, finer particles suspended in it and when you centrifuge or when you apply centrifugation then you will separate the particles of meals like ghee, makkan etc. Due to small particle size they do not scatter a beam of light passing through them thus the path of light is not visible in a solution in case of true solution the particle size are very very small and they cannot even scatter the light and we cannot get in dull effect like the particles are very small and here the particles are big and bigger means in this they, they cannot scatter the light but uh, colloidal solution as well as uh, true solution they can uh, scatter the beam of light because the particle size are very big and this effect is called Tyndall effect the solid particles do not settle down will have to undisturb because uh, we are getting homogeneous mixer that's why uh, the particles are not settled down but uh, colloidal solution they also do not uh, settle down uh, the solid particles settle down when a suspension is left why because suspension is unstable because of the uh, bigger size of particles the solid particles cannot be separated from the mixer by the free process of filtration because it is completely mixed and uh, colloidal solution also we cannot uh, get separated by filtration but suspension we can separate by filtration okay now the fifth question is to make saturated solution uh, 36 gram of sodium chloride is dissolved in 100 gram of water this is solvent solvent and this is solute find its temp concentration at this temperature okay uh, you will use a formula for finding concentration mass of solute mass of solute is 36 upon mass of solvent this is the uh, formula uh, you must use to find the concentration of a saturated solution the formula is mass of solute upon mass of solvent into 100 if you are finding percentage then you will multiply it by 100 and mass of solvent is because solvent is solute plus solvent 36 upon 100 
36 gram and 100 gram we add then we are getting 136 in 200 then you solve it and you will find the answer ok again I am telling 36 is the mass of solvent sol solute and 136 is not a mass of solvent it is a mass of uh, solution mass of solution means solute plus solvent then you will get the answer 26.47 percent now the next question is okay uh, today uh, we completed uh, five questions in the next video we will cover uh, the next few questions okay if you are having any doubt in that in these questions uh, then you will ask me in the comment box. Okay. Thank you.